my great pleasure to introduce Nathan Crane, who is President and CEO of the Integrated Health International. He's director and filmmaker of Panacea Talking Pictures. So thank you, Nathan, for putting on this wonderful conference. It's really great to be back here in San Diego, meeting so many people I met last year, and this time bringing a film crew with me so that we can take this back to Europe. Thank you. Well, thank you. Well, this is our second annual conference, the Integrated Health Conference in San Diego. Our first year was really just a desire to bring people together to learn the latest in integrative solutions to cancer. And we had about 400 people come. We had about 20 or 30 exhibitors. And it was a huge success because the feedback people that gave us was really heart opening, very warm and very profound, the information that people got really changed their lives. And that opened my eyes to say, this is something that really needs to continue and needs to continue on a large scale. So I said, what can we do to reach more people who need this information? So I went to the drawing board, I restructured the whole thing. We came back with our second year, and this year we're gonna have close to 2,000 people. So from 400 to over 2,000 people, and the same thing, people's lives are being changed this weekend because they're connecting with the leading experts in the medical field, the naturopathic field, the holistic practitioners, the cancer survivors and thrivers. They're getting hope and education and inspiration in what path they can choose or multiple paths they can choose to heal their body and basically reclaim their life. Absolutely, and there's so much misinformation out there, isn't there? So there it's is, wonderful yeah. that you're presenting it in such a professional way. When I came last year, I thought a SWAT team would probably come in and, <laughs> and take us all away. But uh, I'm I glad just, they didn't. I just loved it all last year and uh, really wanted to come back this time. So it's great to come back with um, a film director to uh, make some stuff for Revelation TV, which is. Uh, Christian TV, which is uh, really coming out with the truth. You know, it's revealing the truth about all kinds of things. Yeah. And uh, of course, I had pancreatic cancer, nearly died in 2003, uh, lost a daughter, lost a husband. So I'm totally passionate yeah. about um, really giving this information out to people, seeking the truth, and the truth will set you free, yes. as Jesus said. And so it's really exciting to come back this year, meet a lot of old friends again. So how many presenters have we got this year, Nathan? Well, this year we have somewhere around 70 presenters and about 90 presentations. We have a medical panel with six leading medical doctors who are integrative specialists as well. So they're integrating natural solutions with medical intervention to create very profound results. We have a cancer survivor panel, we have a health advocate panel, so these are opportunities for the audience to really engage and ask questions and get, you know, those really specific questions answered that oftentimes they, they just can't get answered doing some research or, you know, they really need to talk to somebody. The truth is that, you know, we have so many different things going on, so people have things to choose from because not everything works for everybody. We know that, right? And the work you're doing through Revelation TV is beautiful. It's wonderful. You're really about connecting people together and connecting people with the truth. And that's so important. And so when you have the full picture, when you have all the different pieces of information available, then you can make an educated decision for your life and for your health. If you don't have the full picture, then you're making a limited decision because you're only basing your decision or course of action on the limited amount of information that you have. That's right. 
and I was really delighted to be invited to become a member of the Royal Society of Medicine in London, which does prove that doors are opening. And I think they, they probably reckon that a 74-year-old uh, ex-British Red Cross nurse is fairly safe ground to open doors, because I do it with great gentleness and charm. But of course, I'm standing on the shoulders of those guys who have battered down the doors in the first place. Brain. And I'm very well aware of what obstacles you've, you've had in your way. So you think that now this is pretty well accepted and, uh, and things are going to move forward, hopefully. Well, you know, I don't know how well it is accepted yet. Um, uh, and, and I'm talking about on a mass scale. Right now, we're reaching tens of thousands of people, in some cases, hundreds of thousands. But we won't really know that this information is truly accepted until we're reaching tens of millions. And, you know, we have to get over, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 million people who really understand the need for integration between the medical industry and the naturopathic industry, who really understand that there are a lot more options available. The fact is, most people just don't know that they have alternative options, that they have solutions that are very effective. And like you said earlier, there is a lot of misinformation out there. And, and it's because people are taking action based on information that either isn't validated or it's a limited amount of information that the person sharing it has developed or received themselves. Maybe they healed themselves or they know a few people. And so then they go out and tell the world that this is the only solution because it helped me and five other people or a hundred other people. The reality is I don't believe there will ever be one magic blue pill to cure cancer or any disease and it's, it's a waste of our time, resources, energy and focus to try and develop that because the body is so complex. The human body also includes our spirit, as we know, right? That's a part of our human experience. It includes our mind and our emotions. And we know that when we're developing pharmaceuticals to treat the physical symptoms of a dis-ease, what happens is it causes some other form of, you know, skin irritation or irritable bowel syndrome or bleeding eyes or, in some cases, death. So, you know, we're focusing on one magic blue pill versus saying we versus looking at the entire picture, which is mind, body, emotions, spirit, environment, and relationships. See, if we can start looking at the whole picture, and if we have tens of millions of people doing this together at the same time, then we're going to create um, a massive global shift that is going to improve people's lives everywhere. Absolutely, and basically it's about restoring the immune system, isn't it? Yeah. That's the whole thing. The immune system's got to be built up. Uh, getting rid of the toxicity, eliminating toxicity, restoring the deficiency of the living enzymes, which of course are in God's creation diet, which nobody's taken any notice of, but the answers are all there. Right, and when we talk about the immune system too, a lot of times we think it's a simply physical expression, something that is a little bit nebulous, right? We say immune system. And what do people think when they hear immune system? Well, it's like, oh, it's some part of my body that kind of helps me to stay healthy and not get sick. But the immune system is composed of so many different parts, right? It's, it's composed of different glands. It's composed of different, uh, you know, I mean, even our organs, different parts of our organs, kidneys and livers, those all play a really important part of the immune system. And at the same time, the piece that most people don't talk about when we're talking about immune system is our thinking, right? How are our thoughts affecting our physical experience? How are they manifesting in our body? And even those who do talk about it oftentimes, unfortunately, don't really have the practice in their life to really know the impact their thoughts have on the physical body. So when when we're addressing the immune system, we can't just say, here, let's throw some herbs at it, let's throw some, some supplements and some diet and some green juice and all of that. Sure, that's going to help support the physical, but if you only do that, right, without supporting the mental, the emotional, the thinking, without eliminating limiting belief systems that are keeping our minds, you know, keeping us angry, keeping us envious, maybe greed, maybe jealousy, maybe fear, those are all negative 
thought systems that eventually manifest in the physical body. And there's enough science now to validate that, but our ancestors have known that forever, for thousands of years. Right now, our scientific community is kind of catching up with that. And when mainstream public, when you know, hundreds of millions of people around the world really get that, and when we're living that together as a community, and we're treating each other with harmony, with respect, with understanding, without guilt, blame, fear, doubt, worry, and shame, and we're bringing up these higher level e emotions and thinking of love, kindness, care, concern, generosity, and gratitude, that really makes a difference for our entire immune system. And laughter, right? We have a presenter here, Swami Beyondananda, at our gala dinner event, who was making the entire crowd laugh for a half hour straight. And he talked about studies and laughter and healing, which, were, which is so important. It's another piece that we kind of forget about. Smiling, happiness, and laughter can bring so much healing to our lives. And then we add on the physical component, the nutrition component, the diet. We look at what's in our water. We look at what's in our food. We look at what's in our environment. We look at the air that we're breathing. Sometimes we can't change the air that we're breathing, but we can change our thoughts about the air that we're breathing, which will have an impact in how our body responds to the molecules in that air that are entering our body. And that's the most important piece, I think, is realize that we are co-creators in this divine expression of human experience on the planet. You know, we're not here as um, disempowered humans running around hoping that things work well. We actually can take a step forward into the creation of our life and make changes instantly. And, you know, I'm a living proof of that as well as so many other people who are here who've overcome major challenges in their life. And I also found the exhibitors are really great. I, in fact, I bought this beautiful um, electromagnetic protection here. And uh, I think it's so important because we're surrounded with our computers, our mobile phones, TVs, everything around us all day. Yeah. And of course, Fukushima as well is letting off a lot of radiation. And so, yeah, it's multifactorial, as you say. So you've got some wonderful exhibitors. It's really interesting. We haven't had enough time, Mason, really, to get around all the exhibition hall. So uh, it's just so interesting. You've got so many wonderful speakers. You don't know who to go to. I think you ought to make it longer, make it a week. Do you think you could do that? I'd love to make it a week <laughs> if, 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 uh, if my body could stand up to it. I have to remember my own health, too. <laughs> That's right. I know you've been absolutely amazing opening everything up and um, you know just being such a great host and I do thank you so much for giving us this beautiful room to do our interviews in because these interviews will reach such a lot of people. I hope you'll be able to bring the Integrated Health Conference to Europe. I would love to bring the conference and, and the work in any way that we're doing to Europe and to other countries because you know this is uh, and I've asked I've been asked to do that multiple times and so really for that to happen it's just a matter of the people wanting it and saying we want it let's work together this is a team effort we have volunteers here that are making this happen my business partner has been a big part in helping bring all the presenters here and without the community coming together working together none of this would happen you know sure I'm doing 12 people's jobs full-time to make it happen but then I have a team of 30 people supporting me on top of that and many of them volunteering their time because they're here for the mission. They're here to serve as I am and they're here to, to, to learn at the same time because many of them have cancer as well. So they want to get the latest in information to support their healing journey. So yes, I would love to do it in Europe and um, just a matter of time. Tell me when. <laughs> well, perhaps we can help you set that up. It sounds really good. Now tell me about your film project. So I've been working on a film for just about a year now. And the reason I started this film was, was uh, multifaceted. One is that I wanted to get this information to as many people as possible. And there's no other way better to, to do that than a movie. We all love to sit and watch movies. We love to sit and be entertained. And at the same time, if we can be educated while being entertained and sitting with our family, then it's a win-win-win, right? So. 
the film's going to be able to help us reach a lot of people in a short period of time. The second thing is we're able to consolidate years and years and years of research into about a 90-minute presentation. And so, you know, someone who uh, is diagnosed with cancer, if they go down the path of research, educating themselves, empowering themselves, and figuring out what are the best solutions for me, it can be months and years of personal research before they really find what works for them. And it's important that each of us takes that step with our health no matter what. But, see, we've been spending a lot of time interviewing all the experts, well, not all of them, but a lot of the experts out there, a lot of the cancer survivors and thrivers, the medical doctors, the naturopaths, the physicians, the oncologists, um, the neuroscience researchers, and looking at all pieces of the perspective and saying what are these different perspectives and how can we bring and bridge them together to create a new conversation that is all-encompassing ver versus limiting. So we're bridging the gap between the medical industry and the naturopathic industry for one reason and that's to serve and support the person who wants to prevent or reverse cancer in themselves or a family member's life. So that's why it's called cancer, the integrative perspective. Right. We're looking at all perspectives and yes. not, we're not focusing on one saying this is the only solution. We're saying, look, there are a lot of different things, but again, you won't know exactly what to do or, or you may not have the best action plan if you don't have all the information. So it's probably going to turn into a series and will probably turn into something so much more because we already have maybe 70 interviews we've done and we have to try and fit that into our story of the film of about 90 minutes. So it's going to be a lot of information in a short period of time and at the same time really focused about inspiring and empowering people with good education to start them on their path or help them. You know, one piece a lot of people kind of forget to talk about is prevention. Look, if, if the American Cancer Society says that almost all cancers can be prevented, why aren't we taking steps right now to prevent it? versus being a statistic, a one in two or one in three statistic and saying now I'm diagnosed with cancer, now what do I do? In some cases it's too late unfortunately versus wow if most of this is not genetic which we now know through epigenetics and most of it can be prevented through diet, lifestyle, thinking, emotions and understanding this whole picture then why are we not preventing it in ourselves and our family? Well it's because people just don't know. They don't know what to do to prevent it and it, when they do have cancer, they don't know what to do to allow their body to heal itself. And so through the film, that's our main focus, is to cover those two main subjects to really empower people. That's great. And if people would like to sponsor the film, how do they contact you? Yes, the website is www.theintegrativeperspective.com. Theintegrativeperspective.com. There should be a link on the website that says Get Involved. Click that link. If we have crowdfunding campaigns going, you can get involved and support. And at the same time, you can join our newsletter. We send out free teaser videos of interviews that we've done with really kind of two, three minute sound bites that are like awakening sound bites. You hear it and you go, wow, you know, I didn't think of it that way before. That's very interesting. And so we send those out to everyone who subscribes to our newsletter. And again, to, to sponsor and help us complete the film and get it done on time this year. We need corporate sponsors, we need the community to get involved and help and again there's a tab there that says get involved on the website. Well it would be absolutely great if we get more international sponsors, wouldn't it? Yes. Make it a worldwide enterprise. Absolutely and that's, yeah. that's the other piece that we're bringing in is the international perspective too because there's things going on in Germany there are things going on in the UK, there are things going on in South America, there are things going on in different parts of the world that are not as limited and restrictive as the United States. And they're getting incredible results, like in Mexico. You spend a lot of time in Mexico with Francisco Contreras and some of the, the, the leading oncologists and medical doctors down there and like the Gerson Institute's down there and they're not as restricted in some of the things that they can do and they're also seeing very incredible results. So, you know, we, we are and we want to continue bringing more of the international perspective into the film because it's really about a global community 
it's not just about the United States or just about one country. It's about us as human beings who are being affected by this, by this global disease. Unfortunately, it is a connecting point for us as human beings because everybody watching this show right now knows somebody who's been affected by cancer or even in the case of me has someone in their family that has passed on because of cancer or because of the treatment that they had. And so we're all connected because of that one fact and at the same time we can be even more connected when we become empowered through education and what we can do about it. It's all about education, not medication. Yes. And uh, rebuilding and restoring our bodies to the strength that God intended us to, to have. So Nathan, I just thank you so much for doing this wonderful work. Are you going to hold the conference in San Diego again next year? Yeah, the plan right now is to have this as an annual conference. We'll see what happens. We've got to work out some details, but we'd love to do it here in San Diego every year and grow it double in attendance and double in uh, online reach. We have people tuning in via live stream from all over the world, so we'd love to continue doing that every year. Fantastic. Nathan, thank you so much for putting on this wonderful conference for all your work, and we look forward to being with you again next year in San Diego. God bless you. Thank bless you. you. Thank you for God your work. You. Thank you for your show. I appreciate it so much.